Lately, some young Namibians have gone to the extremes in expressing their frustrations with the country's socio-economic challenges. Professor Karina says some demands by the youth are justified, such as land and housing provision and employment. The current generation has a right to be angry because when we achieved our independence, we didn't know that we were going to be faced by the problems that are confronting us today. The problems of fish, fish corruption and maybe going to be followed up by the diamond corruptions and mining corruptions and so forth in general. I personally have been for the youth and some of the things that I had to think about is the youth are in a generation that is under serious pressure. However, the manner in which the frustrations are voiced has left many reeling in disbelief. President Gamecop has been the subject of personal insults which drew condemnations from different quarters of the Namibian society. Professor Karina says people can still have their voices heard without having to turn to personal insults. I've been appealing to our young people, respect. There's no substitute for respect with your elders. Yes, we might not have been educated as you are, but it's us who, may, who enabled you to have in UNAM, University of Namibia, Science and Technology University, we the uneducated people. It's us who have made this possible for you and many other things, the little things that we have in this country. Respect us at least for that, that we have bequeathed to you institutions of wisdom where you read that which was never expected or, or we never had in our time. We had to go to South Africa and traveling through very difficult regulations of apartheid and this and that and whatnot. The former UN petitioner has also observed tribalism raising its ugly head among young Namibians. However, he believes the situation can be addressed as he likens it to the time when different political party representatives had to come together to draft Namibia's constitution under Gengob's chairmanship. The tensions that were there were much greater than now because our people have just come out of a war and we were separated by the war. But he managed to create a chemistry that was able to contain us in our anger in that house. Today we have a free country, but we don't give him credit about what he has done during that period of time. That was the most difficult period of our birth. You know, we are concentrating with very minor issues that we have to help him to solve some of these problems. We can, he cannot do it alone. He needs us. Professor Karina urged political parties to hold government accountable regardless of who occupies the highest office in the country. Blanche Goreses, NBC News, Ventuk.